Hey, what's up, Aquarius? We're going to get into your read here. Hope you guys are doing well. And uh, it's going to jump right into it, see what messages are coming in for you guys. And general read, take what resonates, leave the rest out. Let's start off this reading here with the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Three of Wands. Actually, we have the Knight of Wands and the Three of Wands. That's going to be a challenge, and we're going to take that here. It is a card of waiting. I mean, there can be in regards to some sort of news communication coming towards you or you taking some sort of opportunity and really taking off with it you know the fool underneath here so let's see what's going on here we have the six of swords aquarius energy like i said you're moving towards something else something new what is the focus the sun man there's something either you're going to be achieving something success in some part of your area here this could be work this would be promotion could go a lot of different ways here aquarius but i mean like you're being acknowledged there's some sort of ace of pentacles energy that really takes you three of wands in a, uh, another direction six of swords this is moving away moving towards something new and the knight of swords i really felt like taking that too because it did drop out and the knight of swords is a very fast energy this is something you've been waiting for for a very long time here let me see the possibilities here for you, Aquarius. What is the possibilities? The Eight of Pentacles. Something that you could really put you, like, if you're, you know, maybe you're really good at something, you know? Um, but Eight of Pentacles is a card of mastering your craft, you know, really focus and hard work at something, right? So um, this this Eight of Pentacles is Virgo energy. Very concentrate, very concentrated into building something, right? So this doesn't have to be just work. Um, these, these can be projects. This could be stuff that you're trying to build in your life here. But that Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity that just feels like it came quick and you end up taking this opportunity and you work with it. You're building something with it here. And the sun in the focus area, either that is enlightenment for you or this is like this is the way I need to go. This is the opportunity I need to move towards. Whatever it is here, it, it brings a lot of happiness here, whatever this opportunity is. What is the near future for Aquarius? What is the near future here for Aquarius? We have the King of Swords, your energy here. Very much in your power in the month of May here for you, Aquarius. What's going on in your power? Six of Wands. Man, like I, mean, I was already mentioning something about acknowledgement or being recognized for your hard work in some way here. I mean, this could be simply... People saying, you, you you know, you did a great job or maybe you're getting a promotion. There's some sort of acknowledgement, I feel like, that leads you towards another opportunity. But it does feel like you're unexpecting, a very unexpected opportunity here. The full card again, all right? So it just confirming here, we have something new that's starting in for you, all right? Your environment, the full card dropped on that one. So it looks like the fool wants to wants to be out here all right and you can see the fool is moving towards the sun we have the sun here whatever it is here something to do with a lot of happiness for you all right what is the hopes and fears for aquarius we have the five of swords gemini libra aquarius energy and what is the potential outcome what is the potential outcome here for aquarius knight of wands aries leo sag more sagittarius energy there and then we have the High Priestess underneath the deck. So High Priestess, we know, very intuitive, right? But also she keeps a lot of secrets. She's not telling everyone everything. Um, but, I mean, we in the near future, we have a King of Swords energy. And I feel like that's you, Aquarius. I feel like you're stepping into either you've taken your power back. You know, you moved away from something here. Um, this could be if it's physically not moving from something, Swords is about the mental the thought right so i feel like you may have let go of something that you've been focused on for a very long time and i feel like you're you've you've moved away from that and moving away from whatever that is whatever that has been cluttering your mind keeping you stuck worried you know because i do see hopes and fears we have the five of swords um you know i do feel like there's this ace of pentacles opportunity that you do take and you do work very hard at it it's not an easy thing though because it does that eight of pentacles this is not a walk in the park this is something that you are very experienced in or maybe you're just finding out that you're really good at something here okay um and then we have in your power the six of wands so acknowledgement people are seeing the hard work people are seeing that that um you know how valuable you are in some way so i don't know how that is i mean this can be you know someone that you know is starting to see how valuable you are in their lives it could be simply like that 
if it's a work situation or an opportunity with that, I do feel like someone does see, you know, you and your skills here. And, um, you know, maybe that is something that someone's looking into, but it feels very solo here. It feels like you're doing something. Now, the outcome being the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands is a very fast energy as well. I mean, the Knight of Swords is the fastest card, close to the, well, the Chariot and the Knight of Swords is the fastest card in the deck. But the Knight of Wands could be a very impulsive energy, very fun energy, adventurous energy here. So there is something here that is taking you towards um, something new that kind of sparks sparks your flame a little bit. Is it sparks your flame? Sparks your fire. You know, something like that, right? But something here to reignite you in some way. So maybe it's been, you know, uh, a battle here in the past, but now things are starting to shift. So, and maybe this is more internally. But that Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity, and it feels like you're putting work into this Ace of Pentacles. So, um, and, and we have the Fool in your environment. So is, there's some sort of like new beginning and new opportunity to something here, and it's just a start. But you feel very confident while you're doing this here. High Priestess underneath, very intuitive as well. So Aquarius, what is this new opportunity? I want to see the Fool card. Tell me more about this new opportunity here for Aquarius the ten of Pentacles wow I mean Sagittarius was getting the ten of Pentacles um in the outcome area twice back-to-back -back readings here so this energy I don't know if you have Sag in your chart you know it can be that I mean but the message the message here is showing something that is leading you towards something that you really want it doesn't have to be just a connection like I said a lot of things open up right so when we get into these energies where we could start manifesting, start creating things, you know, and, and we have these new opportunities, these new, uh, um, new things to where we can experience, right? Work and meeting new people, traveling, whatever it is here, because the Knight of Wands is about travel adventure. It leads us to new opportunities. It leads us to new people, right? And sometimes that leads to a new opportunity in love. Sometimes that leads to new opportunity in your uh, money, your finances here, or just new experiences, right? So I feel like you're, and I say that because I see the, the sun in your focus. And you're in this energy of wanting to get out and have fun, wanting to enjoy yourself, right? Um, but that energy, that shift in the way you're thinking here is really opening you up to a lot of opportunities here or to an opportunity where you are putting in work to really build a ten of pentacles foundation okay and with that ten of, ten of pentacles i do feel like that can be um an op opportunity to meet someone new now if you guys are with someone i do feel like there's um that connection is getting deeper you know this could be something more long term this is someone that um you know living together you know building a home together you know that's the type of energy that this is leading you towards and that six of wands you know and that then the sun being over there that's like puts you in a very good energy that you're you know you're in a better spot we saw the high priestess earlier so the high priestess understands her emotions she's going in deep she has her intuition she's using her intuition and she's feeling good about these decisions she's feeling good that hey you know what things are coming together now and when you start to feel like that that start to feel like hey that that's probably the right path right so you're moving away from a past that felt maybe very sluggish maybe very um you know held back in some way but you're also still in this five of swords it's the hopes and fears right it's this um worry of a new beginning worry about how things are going to go but i don't feel like you're really stuck in that five of swords energy you are ready even five of swords is ready for battle in some way right ready to protect yourself in some way she's around she's surrounding herself with the swords so it could be just more protecting your mind you know the way the negativity that you hear um maybe you're not letting a lot of outside noise get to you anymore you know maybe you've learned to Really, um, I've, I've said this a lot of times before in my videos, in one year, out the other, you know, the skill. Um, that's kind of what I feel like you've been doing here. You're not letting things really affect you. And I feel like you're going to start to see this change a lot here in the month of May. I really don't have to clarify anything here. It was nice that the Knight of, Knight of Swords and the Three of Wands there because that is the challenge. You know, we want this, we want to move towards this new beginning, but I feel like in the month of May, you're going to start to see more clarity and more time put in, in into whatever you want to do here. Um, and it leads you, this, this full card leads you to a Ten of Pentacles, but also understanding that it's going to take time. This is something that you got to Eight of Pentacles work with, right? But also you're in this vibration of saying, this now feels good. This feels like where I'm supposed to be here, all right? Anything else here for Aquarius? Anything else? Any other messages 
for Aquarius here. Like I said, I don't need to clarify. I just feel like there's there's something here that either comes as an opportunity or you're in this opportunity, you're building off of this. Something to do with self-confidence and believing that you can really create something here. But also we have these energies of the sun, the knight of wands, the six of wands, cards of explore, having fun, getting out there, putting yourself in different situations here where it's going to lead to more opportunities here. So whatever that means to you, but I do feel like there's a lot of traveling energy going on here. All right. Anything else here? We do have the nine of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is more of the advice here. I mean, anxiety, worry, fear, you know, feeling as though something may not work out. I mean, there can be five of wands there in your mind, really, you know, just kind of seeing anything we start new, you know, any new job even, right? We, we get into a new job. We feel like, you know, we have this energy of wanting to get there. We're excited, but at the same time, will we do a good job? You know, we'll, uh, you know, if we start a project, will this really turn out right? Right. But I do feel like it's it's not something, it, worry, you're going to worry about it. That's just natural. Um, so for me to sit here and say, don't worry about it and you'll be fine, that's that's not what I see here in the energy. And usually that's not how it is. Um, Nine of Swords energy, yeah, you're going you're gonna to overthink. You're going to worry. Six of Pentacles, I do feel like you have offers. You have help here. Four of Cups, though, I do feel like you're going to start to see that, hey, I'm not putting energy into things that don't give me back anything. I'm going to start focusing on building up this Ace of Cups energy here. Um, so I do feel like there's something here to where it can take time to get into this energy. It kind of, it, And maybe it's not easy, right? Success is not easy, right? So I feel like sometimes there can be these uh, doubts that come up, or maybe you're worried that something didn't work out right, or maybe you weren't able to put enough energy into something that day or days or something like that. Um, and I feel like it's something to where you need to um, not really overwhelm yourself. Don't overthink yourself that because you're unable to really put into this Ace of Pentacles continuously that, um, you know, there is a sense of needing to go out and have fun because it's like you learn the experiences, you go out there it, it, and then you come back with better energy. So if you're tied to something too much, I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, that can also be a bad thing here. OK, so there's something about your energy about go out and have some fun, go out and enjoy yourself, um, get out with nature. I know you guys hear that a lot, but there's there, that is coming up in your reading. We have a lot of energy of a new beginning to the Ten of Pentacles, but it's also something about don't overdo it. Don't over obsess that something this month has to happen. It's uh, enjoy the ride a bit. All right. So that's what I that's what I see. One more card here, Empress. So we end we end the reading with the Empress. So as you're standing in this energy of being able to create what you want here i see the king of wands underneath here as well so you can be in this visionary energy as well you could be thinking about how you want something to look before making some sort of action here but um but like i said the nine of swords here with the six of pentacles the four of cups just remember it does take everything is going to take time so there is something about not letting not forgetting you know the full card here the sun is always about and that's in your focus childlike energy going out there, exploring. I just feel like you still have this. Whatever is de de uh, destined for you, you're going to have it. Um, but you also can't push it. You can't You can't uh, speed up the process, right? It's going to be divine timing. So that is a message. I feel like divine timing is, is something that plays here. But that Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, is something big that leads you towards this. But again, understanding that it takes time and not to rush it. Also enjoying, you know, getting out there. Sometimes a little bit of um sometimes less is more is what i'm picking up here all right so not to push it too much so aquarius i feel like the message is kind of going in a circle here now so i will stop it i'm looking at all the cards here but like i said nine of swords don't overthink it five of swords nine of swords don't overthink yourself because you can start doubting yourself in that energy so that's what i like about tarot i mean these energies come up and sometimes we don't see these energies throughout these, you know, th these times, right? So we start to manifest something. Then all of a sudden, one morning we wake up and it's like, oh, you know what? I don't, is that right? You know, is this working out? You know, you start to question yourself and that puts you into worry. And it feels like being in this energy, which it shows you are, is going to really um, help you here. All right. So if that does help, 
let me know hit that like button leave a comment and uh, i'll be coming out with some more readings for you guys and uh until next time we'll see you guys have a good one